And now guys, I've got something cool to show you. Mm -hmm. A certain update that um, I think is very, very cool. And you guys are going to love this too. Mabu High Squad. Check it out. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. The fish tank. Guys, look at the fish tank right now. It is so lush. Look at the kabomba. Seriously, look at how much they've grown in. It's crazy. The hydrocotyle, tripartita, still growing, growing big. All of these massive roots from the water lettuce completely taking over. I think I'm gonna have to remove some of the water lettuce. Um, Look at the red ivy, or what is it called? Red grass, something like that, red ivy. It's just all growing in now. I just can't get over that kabomba though. Like it really just, exploded and took over the space. I love the mix of the red kabomba and the green kabomba. Isn't that awesome? Just looks so pretty. So, so cool. Mm -hmm. Our fish tank is really, really looking pretty amazing. Beautiful sunset happening out here. Earlier it looked so like lavender and orange, it was so beautiful. And the guy is trying to get a last minute pellet fix. She knows it's bedtime soon. She always does this, like an hour or two before bed, she will like stock up on pellets. She gets really hungry before bed. You eat your pellets, they're expensive and full of nutrients. Mm-hmm. Good morning. Morning, the guys. Yes. Did you sleep well? Hope so. Yeah, hey, Ligaya is playing with her outdoor toy. Well, out of cage toy. I found she was gnawing on my wall. So this chew toy here on the outside of the cage allows her to destroy stuff, which she loves to do. <laughs> I love watching you destroy this, guys. Yes. I've learned that she loves destroying wooden balls. All right, guys, so we have two days worth of positive affirmations to do. So this was yesterday's. There is a perfect home for me and I accept it now. Oh, your place of residence, guys. There is a perfect home for me, and I accept it now. Let that out into the universe, guys. Oh, that reminds me of the Mabu High Squad farm. Speaking of which, in case you missed our previous update, the Mabu High Squad farm house is being built. The foundations are now up. Bahai Kubo, the traditional Filipino hut, is uh, really coming together now. It sits over the fish pond, which is being built as well. Oh, I can't wait to have a fish pond in the yard that'll be so cool as well they're building a massive water tower so neat there's a water tank now but it's really small but we will have a much larger one um, for water pressure so I'm looking forward to that another update which really excites me is our future puppy in case you're just joining us um, our future puppy was born it's a litter of two they're basically chorkies or technically be chorkies chorky <laughs> The dad, Pizza, is Bichon Freeze Yorkie, and the mom is Teacup Chihuahua. So <laughs> it's that mix. There's a light one, which is the runt. It's smaller, and apparently the, their personalities are coming out now. Apparently it begs for food a lot. And then there's the darker one, which apparently looks more Yorkie. It's larger, and it's quieter. I don't know. I'm not sure which one to choose. We were thinking that, because one of them is going to Raquel, our cousin, we were thinking we will go there when it's time to pick up the puppies with Raquel and we'll see like the chemistry just like Ligaya my parrot here in case you didn't see that vlog the day we took her home she chose us and her sibling her nest mate kind of like retreated in the corner she's like get away from me but Ligaya came chirping when we came and she's like rah, rah, rah. so <laughs> we ended up taking her and it was perfect she chose us so we're hoping for something similar when we go visit the litter I'm okay to, to have a runt because I you know they, they say runt have more health problems or issues or whatnot but I would prefer a dog that naturally chooses us over a dog that we just select based on behavior and then it not having the same connection you know what I'm saying you know what I mean you guys know all right now let's get to today's positive affirmation okay guys today's positive affirmation is I fulfill my creative side and want to bloom wherever I am planted Ooh, love that. A creativity. Positive affirmation. I fulfill my creative side. I want to bloom wherever I am planted. There you go, guys. Go be creative.
Speaking of which, guys, if you saw yesterday's vlog, it was the BTS to our new parody called Stupid Cough, a parody to Lady Gaga's Stupid Love. And it's doing well, doing quite well on Facebook, slowly climbing on YouTube. Who knows? We'll see. Let's hope it does well over time. Um, but you know where it's really doing well, surprisingly? On Twitter. I uploaded it on Twitter, and it's not even the whole clip because there's a max amount of time in the videos you upload on Twitter. And we watched it last night be tweeted or retweeted by like a some Spanish or Portuguese speaking South American country I'm assuming Brazil someone in Brazil tweeted it to a fan club and then they tweeted it and then it just completely went viral in like the Lady Gaga fandom of South America it was crazy so now it has let's check how many views it has as of right now today and it's by the time you guys see this it might have more it has 300,000 views, which beats the views that we're getting on Facebook and YouTube. So really interesting. The love on Twitter is awesome. I have a whole bunch of like non-English speaker followers on Twitter now, like from Brazil and other places of South America, which is really great. So cool. Um, and a lot of them are also commenting on the YouTube video, which is awesome. Great. And if you guys are here from Brazil or South America, Colombia, I saw some Argentina, Welcome to the channel, guys. Hi, um, and thank you for watching the video. Yay, the Mabuhay Squad is growing. Woohoo! Uh, so that's great. If you guys haven't seen the parody yet, be sure to click here to watch it and share it. Share it with your friends. It's a responsible video. You know, we were thinking, okay, we don't want to cause mass hysteria, even though a lot of us are kind of like, kind of scared now. It's uh, kind of an overview of how to eliminate the risk of contracting this virus which we won't say that starts with a c and rhymes with varona iris now legaya here has been flying so much today like all of this morning she was flying there she flew to me flew to at elsie flew even to the sink she never does that she's been really flying lately and remember the other day when she fl tried to fly into her guava tree she's becoming much more confident on wing and i highly suspect it's because of her new tea let me show you before we had like a reddish parrot tea but i've decided to use another blend and try out a tea which is designed to help their feathers and skin so guys this is the old tea we're running low which is a nice red color and it smells so nice um this is what is this for i think this is for boosting of the immune system essential nutrients yeah this is designed for immune system which is great and then this this new tea which looks kind of orangish and it comes out more yellow mmm it's like a bunch of like herbs and spices even or like florals i don't know but this one is designed for healthy skin and feather production now i've realized that legaya doesn't get as much sun so her feather quality isn't the best it could be better i know this and we're providing her with the best diet so i'm ruling it out that it's probably she needs sun exposure um and i do take her on walks but i wanted to also supplement and support with this tea for strong feathers and i even after the third day of drinking this i've noticed she's so flat she likes to fly now for some reason whatever's in here is making her fly a lot more this of course is polly's natural parrot boutique tea which was sent to us from the uk so if you have birds and you're from the uk i highly recommend their organic teas for parrots it's awesome and you're thinking what parrots don't drink tea in the wild actually you may be surprised because where do birds get their water right they get them from puddles hollows in trees water that drips off like leaves and stuff and guess what like in puddles you have decaying leaves Leaves and stuff and then from these decaying leaves that soak in the water tannins leach from the leaf right and it turns the water like dark and tea-ish rivers and streams leaves fall in all the time and they decay and they fill the water with all of these tannins and like rich nutrients which the animals who drink from this water benefit from I mean drinking of tea is pretty natural for wild animals and for birds so highly recommend good vitamins good way to give vitamins and I can see it already in the Gaia's behavior that maybe I don't know maybe it's starting to strengthen her feathers or so and she feels like all right I'm gonna go flying I don't know what it is but it's just an observation I've made OMG guys another thing I forgot to mention was that Elon Musk the Elon Musk look at that okay verified account on Twitter let's go to his likes things he has liked and guys, check this out. Where is it? He liked my video. Someone named Chromatic, obviously a Lady Gaga fan, tweeted it. It's the actual video 
See? My video from Mikey Bustos. He liked it. Elon Musk. I died. Like, I think I screamed for a good two minutes. I can't believe he saw it. And then what's funny is, today he tweeted, The coronavirus panic is dumb. <laughs> He should have said stupid. And then, of course, I thanked him. Where did my tweet to him go? Don't tell me he deleted it. I don't know, it's probably lost in the sea of comments. Anyways, I thanked him for liking my parody. I'm such a fanboy sometimes. So guys, I want to show you something we had to do. Sadly, turns out our roses decided to die. Like remember how these little living things were alive for a while? Something happened and like overnight they started to die. So I've given them some nutrients, some fish poop nutrients. Guys, this is aquaponics here. So the fish, they poo in the water and they produce ammonia, which is converted by bacteria into nitrites, which another set of bacteria convert into nitrates which plants love. As you can see, we're hoping that these roses now will absorb these nitrates. I think what happened was they used up all the minerals and nutrients in the water in their vase, and so they just decided to, to keel over. But hopefully, there's still hope. We're trying to revive them. Come on, come on roses, I need you for the farm. Alright guys, I got something to admit to you. RJ and I have been holding off on a certain thing um, that we did maybe, when was this? Last month, okay? But we were supposed to include it in the vlogs, but for whatever reason, it got derailed somehow. Oh yes, like the volcano stuff. Um, but we're ready to show it to you guys now. Mm -hmm. Mabuhai squad. You're in for a special treat. Check this out. 